Hey, Dwight Clough here, Inner Wealth. Um, I just want to share a quick thought on uh, getting prayers answered. Um, in 1 John, I think it's 5.14, we read words to this effect, uh, that this is a confidence we have in Him, that is, in God, that if we ask anything according to His will, that we know that He hears us. And if we know that we He hears us, then we know that we have the petitions we've desired of Him. In other words, He's going to answer our prayers. And um, I just, just want to share just a brief thought on that. You know, uh, I think, at least for me, my whole uh, focus on prayer has changed over the years. I mean, early on it was, uh, how can I get God to answer my prayers? How can I get God to do what I want Him to do? And um, as I grew, I think I realized that uh, I was kind of focused on the wrong thing. Um, the thing that uh, I needed to focus on was how can I change my heart so that I want what God wants and um, I can pray for the things that God already wants uh, me to receive. And uh, uh, you know, uh, sometimes people talk about asking for too much. You know, we don't get what we want because we ask for too much. I think that is pure baloney. You know, uh, the Bible says, ask of me uh, and I will give you the nations as your inheritance. So there's no way we can ask for too much is we ask for the wrong reasons sometimes. Um, uh, God wants us to ask for a lot because he's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ask or imagine but we need to ask in uh, conjunction with God's will or in accordance with God's will. So anyway, this is just a quick thought. Uh, for those of you who are Inner Wealth subscribers, we are going to talk about the role that the past has in your transformation coming this next Saturday, um, and specifically how to overcome a painful past and how to put the past behind you and why forgetting the past doesn't work and what you can do instead. So anyway, something to look forward to. Hope these thoughts have been encouraging. Have a super day.